Let's now move on to the next question. The next question says, a recent article stated that a music artist gets 10% from the sale of a music CD in South Africa. It's not a lot, right? The pie chart shows how the money in Rand for one music CD is distributed. Now, be careful. There's always this temptation when you see a pie chart, be like, it's percentages, adds up to 100. That's not what it said, right? It said it's in Rand, so it might not add up to 100. Be careful. Okay, there's all my labels. Fantastic. Remember I said don't spend too much time sort of um, getting through the information. Just kind of look at it and then go straight to the questions. Let's look at the first question. Use the pie chart above to answer the questions that follow. Okay, so it says give the acronym for value added tax. Now it's not a difficult one, right? You kind of just look at the first letters of each of the words there and it is VAT. Okay, and you kind of leave it at that. Okay, let's now look at the second question. Determine the total price for one music CD. Okay, so basically we have to add all of these up, right? Because these are all in rounds. Remember it said in rounds. Add them all up, okay? And that will be our music, uh, the price of music CD. So we say 11.53, that's G, plus 18.05, that's A, B is 41.84, uh, C is 12.16, D is 8.33, E is 0 0.11, shame those people are not getting much, and F is 6.98. Okay, so you write that out. Remember, in these questions, you have to actually show you're working out, right? You can't just be like, ta-da, you have to show you're working out because it's more than two marks. So let's put this into our calculator. Be careful to type this incorrectly. Most common mistake that students make. Okay, um, 41,84, I don't know if you can see, yes, there's my calculator. Um, then there is 12 point, ooh, what am I doing there? You see, this is the mistakes that we can make, that we mustn't make, because these are silly mistakes. Okay, and we're almost there, and our answer is, ta-da, 99. Now, is it 99 just rubbishes or nonsense? No, it's 99, I don't know why that came to my mind, but that is your answer. Okay, so it's 99 rand, and we then move on. Please, no chair. What did I do? I put in my unit of measurement. Important, you get marks for that. Then it says, calculate the amount that the music artist receives for one music CD as a percentage of the amount received by the music store. Okay, so let's make sure we're understanding here. Okay, the music store is B. So this is the music store. Then it says it was wanting the... Music artist, what they receive. Let's see the music artist. The music artist is D over here, right? So it's going to be 8,33. So we're going to say 8,33 over 41,84. And we're going to times that by 100 to get a percentage. Now, the common mistake students make here is they put the 8,33 over 90. It didn't say as a proportion of the whole cost. It said as a percentage of the amount received by the music store. So reading, so important. One of the most important things, right, in MathLit. So we're going to say 8,33. And we're going to put it over 41,84. They asked for a percentage. And we know this is our standard way of converting a fraction into a percentage. We move this across so that you can see. Right, you say 8,33 times 41,84. Oh, not times. Sheesh. I'm doing some crazy things here. Divide and then you times by 100. And my percentage is 19,91%. Now, look. On here, it was 9091. What did I do here? I rounded it off, right? Remember I said to you, if in doubt, round off to two decimal places. I saw that in order to round off to two decimal places, I had to look at the third decimal. Third decimal was above five. I round up. Okay. Let's continue. Here's where it's getting a little bit trickier. So it says, determine the amount of money a music artist will make if he sells or she sells 210,000 copies of his music CD, his or her. Okay, so we know that per album, they make this, right? And then it says, how much are they going to make if they sell this many copies? So you have to say that amount times the number of copies they sell, okay? That's quite important because you're basically saying per unit and then the number of units, 
Very common question in MathLit. Okay, make sure you type that in correctly. Great, don't forget your RAND sign. And you are done. Okay, this is quite a um, uh, an intricate question in that it's asking a variety of different things. Last question here says, calculate how many music CDs must be sold for a writer who writes one song to receive 16 Rand 50. Now, over here it says received, E, is, the, is received by a writer of one song on the music CD. Okay, so there's E. Okay, so this question said, calculate how many music CDs must be sold for a writer who writes one song. Okay, so on the album, they've only written one song, so they only get 0, 0,11 for each album that has been sold. And then we want to know how many CDs have to be sold for them to make 16 Rand 50. It's not a lot of money. Okay, so you say, well, I'm going to say 16 Rand 50. And I'm going to divide that by 0, 0,11. Okay, because I'm basically saying, how much do they get divided by how much, how much do they get in total, by how much do they get per unit? Because if you do that, it will just give you the number of units, the number of CDs. Okay. So we're going to pop that into our calculator. Ooh. And it is 150 CDs. Now, it's good that it's a whole number and there's no decimals because you can't sell half a CD, right? So that's important. Uh, uh, like a good little check there. Let's move on to the next question.